welcome 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 new setup new spot new crib with a new place it's a new year i am the fx savant and i've been thinking the best thing that i could probably offer for free is practical applications of me actually trading so basically what i'm trying to say is trade breakdowns are probably the best benefit for you the viewer i could tell you everything except for the strategies that i use and it probably still wouldn't help you as much whether win or loss i show you a trade that i've taken and how i attack the market so a lot more trade breakdown content coming and in in this one I want to show you something simple simple concept and this is how easy trading can actually be okay so let's go over this USD CAD trade for a 4.7 risk to reward profiting about 161 and a half pips risking 34 pips so let's go over how we found this trade and how we were able to get in on this market using simple concepts that I talk about here on the channel everything that I explain is all available in the program that I offer I also show you how I use the strategies that are offered in the program to take advantage of moves like this in the market. So I think that it is a pretty good value for any trader out there that wants to learn, whether beginner, intermediate, or advanced. I think there's something in the program for everyone. Use multi time frame and structure it the right way in order to find these setups. So, what can we do if we drop down to the monthly time frame? On the monthly, what can we identify? Price has just reached uh, this area in the market here, which is previous structure support that has been acting as support not only once here, but once here, again here and has now come back to this area once again and has shown some sort of rejection with this bullish candle even though it is little this is the start of the monthly candle so we can expect some more bullishness on this market because the market can't go in one direction forever I've said it before I'll say it again we've had an extreme move to the downside so the market can't go in one direction forever it needs to correct itself and also I'm not expecting a huge move all the way from this area to come all the way back up and break these highs but what I am expecting is for a little bounce the market to give some sort of a bounce here whether it does want to reject this structure area or if it wants to go ahead and disrespect it and break below it and come back to it I am still expecting some sort of a bounce out of this market to the upside so with that said that's the monthly time frame let's drop down to the weekly and on the weekly what can we identify we have the area that the market had just came into previous structure support now acting as support once again but if we zoom in on these candles we can start to see a little more of how the market flows so the market moves in waves can't go in one direction forever it needs to correct itself, move in waves, move in waves. And what it likes to do is slow its momentum down, then slow its momentum down and continue in the direction. So it'll slow its momentum down when it wants to change direction, not necessarily a full reversal. So for the correction, it will slow the momentum down, provide the correction. And then once the next impulse starts, it will start to slow down the correction, pick up and gain speed heading towards the impulse. So we have the market moving in a wave formation that we would like to see the market move in. So we have the market moving in a wave formation that we we would like to see which is ideal for good market and trading conditions so now that the market is moving down we're making lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs after we've created a lower low we are expecting some sort of retracement back up so what do we have here on the weekly we have the market starting to slow its momentum down and come back for the correction so that is ideal and what we would like to see you see here the rollover come back not expecting a full reversal but just market continuation and the way the market ebbs and flows so with that said we can expect some more continuation to the upside on the weekly if we do look at the daily time frame and zoom in on the daily time frame what can we identify just these last three candles we've had a clear impulse that broke structure so the market broke structure to the upside and has come back for a correction at the previous structure resistance that it did break so it was resistance over here on this side but now that we've broken this to the upside Side and came back and retested it coming from the upside down to the area it should act as structure support and if we go ahead and pull out our fibs this is a perfect fib play as you can see the market came right down into the 618 and rejected it perfectly so we've had the breaker structure up and the market coming back down uh, retesting previous structure resistance and it is now acting as support in this market it was resistance on this side now acting as support so we can expect that the market is moving in higher high and higher low formation on its way to the upside not expecting a full reversal but just some sort of correction so that is on the daily on the daily we have a break of structure 
coming back to retest previous structure resistance that should now be acting as support. So if we go back to the four hour on the four hour time frame, if we zoom down to the four hour, well, if we look at it closely here, I'll take this off. We can see the market has just started to break structure to the upside. So like I've said before in previous videos, if you want to buy, you want to wait for the market to give you higher high and higher low structure in the market before you look for buy opportunities. If it's creating lower low and lower high opportunities, or if it's creating lower low and lower high structures in the market, you do not want to be buying that market. If we look here on the four hour time frame, we see that we have previous structure support right in this area with these candles and the market has just broke it to the upside. So we had structure support here that was respected. The market then broke it to the downside, came back, respected it, rejected it, and then finally broke it to the upside. So now that we are breaking structure, coming back for the retest and continuing to the upside, we are breaking and creating structure to the upside, creating higher lows and higher highs. The market has just made this move. So we just started to break structure to the upside on the four hour after we broke structure to the downside. We were breaking structure, found a point here, came back, broke this structure, and now we have started to break some structure to the upside and give us what we'd like to see if we would like to buy this market. So that's on the four hour time frame. We just broke and closed above structure. And if we do drop down on the hour time frame, you know what time it is. So let's go ahead and pull it out. So buy USD CAD at 1.20875, stop loss at 534, take profit at 1.225. So this was sent out at 9.35 in the morning. And we can look right now, this is the eight o'clock. So somewhere right around in here, we were looking at this in the market. So how did we get our stops and take profit? I've said it before, I'll say it once again. You take your stops on some of your lower time frames, your intraday time frames, is that is the uh, place that's gonna give you the best possible risk to reward in terms of best possible place for your stop loss. Now, if we look at it on the four hour time frame, our stop loss is below the four hour low. And we do have a target if we look at the daily time frame and we come up here to the daily, we can see smart money concept traders. No, I'm bull stuffing. I ain't with y'all, I ain't trading with y'all because it's y'all overcomplicate the stuff. Just make it simple. We have previous structure support that broke into the downside and the market should come back and respect this area as previous structure resistance. So nothing really too exciting, just simple market structure. We want to go ahead and have our take profit as close to this area as I wanna make sure that I do get filled if the market does come in retest in this area. But also it is, as the smart money concept traders will say, there is an imbalance in here as price was not able to come back and retrace this area. So price just flushed all the way down and didn't come back and correct it. This area so they're gonna say that the price needs to come back but what it really is is just previous structure support now turned resistance I have my stop just below that area or I have my take profit just below that area to make sure that I do get filled so now that we drop down on the one hour time frame if we go back to it right before we get in on the one hour time frame just to check to make sure everything is looking good and before we go ahead and enter in on this market what can we see well if we zoom in we have this nice pattern here I've talked about it once and I I'll talk about it again. One of my favorites. We have a level that was found in the market right in here. Once price did break it to the downside. So we had a level in the market that was found in here. Really, it's all this level. So here, just this consolidation, all this in here. Was this level found in the market? It was not breaking below this level. Once it finally did break and close below this level, immediately broke back above the level with all the same colored candles and came back up. So once we do have a previous structure support in this area, Area broken to the upside it should be acting as resistance once again so what do we have on this side we have a market that came in and retest the left shoulder to the T did not break below it and has started to make its move to the upside so on the one hour everything is lining up perfectly for our buy position for our buy position and trade idea so now that we have everything that we need to go ahead and get triggered in on this market everything all the rules of the strategies were satisfied cannot explain those with you as those are for the people in the program but just know that all the rules were satisfied and we had previous structure uh, resistance we had previous structure resistance just to put it simple right in this area we had previous structure resistance that's broken to the upside we want to just see it be used as support now on its way to the upside so the only thing we have left to do is to let the trade play out let's see what we get so we're ready and waiting for this market. We go ahead and trigger in, let it play out. Price starts to break up, giving us a little bit in profit, a little bit in profit. Market starts to retrace a little bit. Now, not risk-free yet, even though price does come back to the entry. 
<laughs> trading. When that happened, you know, your butthole clinch a little tight. Butthole clinch came close to the stop loss, but did not hit the stop loss as the stop loss was protected below structure, as we see here. Put our stop loss below the low. Let me pause it here and talk about that. So why do we put our stop loss below the low? Say it with me now. We put our stop loss below the low because if our stop loss is hit, I no longer want to be in the trade. If my stop loss is hit, we have broken the low and we're now making lower lows and lower highs. Say it with me one more time. If my stop loss is hit, I don't want to be in the trade anymore. That's why you have to put the stop loss where the stop loss needs to go. It either needs to go above or below structure depending on whether you're buying or selling. So let's continue. Price did come close to the stop loss, then broke back up. Still did not go risk free. Price came back to the entry and has now started to break up, heading towards the take profit. And now is the instance in when I am risk free. So now I'm risk free. If the price comes back to the entry, I no longer want to be in this trade anyway because we have broken some sort of structure and it's not giving me higher highs and higher lows that I'd like to see. I'd be okay with getting out of this market with no gain no loss as well but no gain price is still breaking up breaking up making his move to the upside coming back for a little bit of retrace and then bada bing bada boom we have it right there take profit hit for a nice 161 and a half pips or a 4.74 risk to reward i mean it's pretty simple man if we go through it one more time recap everything on the monthly we had previous structure support price came in just want to see a bounce from support on the weekly we had the market moving in waves we know the market can't go in one direction forever so we were just waiting for mark to come back and give us some sort of retracement all signs were showing bullishness on the daily we had structure breaking we had previous structure that was broken and price came back for perfect fibonacci retest of the 618 down on the four hour we had price that just started to create higher highs and higher lows in the market so we were immediately in the early in the trend change and then on the hour we also had a nice bullish pattern which is the inverted head and shoulders that we like to see giving us confirmations that price wants to continue to the upside from this pattern so stops and targets stops below the low targeting higher high a logical take profit on the higher time frame so on my directional time frames and overall just letting it play out with the probabilities that i found in my research and back testing data now it was a nice and pretty easy trade to sit through once it got started and we went risk free and if you would like to learn how i take trades like this and the strategies that i use once again check the link in the description i offer a program that I think is very valuable to any trader in any stage of their career. And with that said, I hope you have a profitable day on and off the charts. And until next time, I holla.